Warning, excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Important, before installing your dishwasher, please use this instruction sheet as a supplement to the installation instructions. Gather these additional tools and parts before starting the attachment of the custom panel. Additional tools needed, a 3 by 32 inch drill bit, extra long drill bit, Torx T15 screwdriver, additional parts not supplied, Additional parts supplied with custom panel models. This is an example only. Mounting hardware may vary between custom designs. The builder or installer should specify all mounting hardware supplies needed per the custom design or preferred handle to ensure a proper installation and avoid damage to the custom panel or unit. Install the custom hardware handles on the front of the wooden panel inside the dotted line. Important. If the handle is attached from the back of the custom panel, the screw holes should be countersunk for the screw heads to be flush with the panel. If the handle is attached to the front of the custom panel, the screw lengths cannot exceed the panel thickness. Using the template provided, attach it to the back side of the custom panel with tape. Make sure that the center of the template is aligned with the center of the wooden panel and top of the template is aligned to the top face of the wooden panel. Note, use a pencil or marking tool to mark the center of the crosshairs on the template. Pre-drill custom panel holes. Note, do not drill deeper than 5 8 inch 16 millimeters to keep from drilling through panel. Pilot hole depths given are for 3 4 inch 19 millimeter thick panel. Mark four pilot holes on the wooden panel using the template provided. Pre-drill four pilot holes using a 3 32 inch drill bit. Use tape to mark the drill bit to gauge the hole depth. Drill pilot holes approximately 5 8 inch 16 millimeters into the custom panel. Remember to back the drill out to avoid damaging the pilot hole. Note, if reusing a custom panel from a previous dishwasher, First check to make sure the overall size of the panel will work for the new application. Remove the panel from the previous product, lay the drilling template on the new holes and ensure the holes are in the correct location. Drill the holes per the template as needed. Attach the four plastic studs to the wooden panel using the four 5 16th inch hex head short screws provided. A 5 16th inch nut driver can be used also. Drill until fully seated. Do not over drill to avoid damage. Attach custom panel. Align the studs on the custom wood panel to the keyhole slots on the door assembly. Ensure that all four plastic studs are engaged in the keyhole slots. Slide the wood panel down until the top surface of the wooden panel is flush with the top of the door. Open the door and align top edges. Use tape to mark an extra long 
three 32 inch drill bit to gauge the hole depth of approximately one and one half inch 38 millimeter. Drill pilot holes into the top corners of the door. Using the hole in the liner as a guide, do not over drill to avoid damage to the panel. Install custom panel. Using a Torx T15 screwdriver, install two number eight by 13 by eight inch long screws in the top corners to secure the custom wood panel in place. Use a Torx T15 screwdriver to avoid damage to the panel and unit. Remove the short screws forth from the top on either side of the inner door panel. Use tape to mark an extra long 3 by 32 inch drill bit to gauge the hole depth of approximately 1 1 half inch 38 millimeter. Drill two pilot holes using the door liner hole as a guide into the panel using the two remaining long screws. Use a Torx T15 screwdriver to avoid damage to the panel and unit. Do not strip. Hinge spring adjustment instruction. If door tension is insufficient to support the weight of the door, adjustment of the hinge spring tension may be needed. Make sure that the dishwasher door is closed at all times while hinge spring tension is being adjusted. Adjusting the hinge spring tension while the door is partially or fully open can cause damage to the hinge. The dishwasher should be partially or fully removed from under the cabinet to grant access to the hinge spring tension adjustment mechanism. With the dishwasher partially or fully removed from the cabinet, the hinge spring tension adjusters can be accessed at the front sides of the dishwasher. Each of the two hinges right side and left side have three different spring tension adjustments. All dishwasher models leave the factory with the hinges set in the lowest spring tension setting. This setting is suitable for lighter door panels. Heavier door panels will require adjustment of the hinge spring tension to prevent the door from falling open when it's unlatched. Each hinge has three different spring tension levels that it can be set to. The current tension level is indicated by an arrow. One is the lowest spring tension for light doors, and three is the heaviest for heavier doors. Two is the middle tension for door panel weights that fall between heavy and light. Rotate the adjuster nut using a 3 4 inch open end wrench or adjustable wrench one or two steps in the clockwise direction when viewed from above to increase spring tension. Place the dishwasher back under the cabinet to prevent it from tipping while the door is open. And once the desired spring tension has been set, the dishwasher can be installed under the counter per the steps shown in the instruction manual. For further reference, be aware, installation instructions are available online or with your custom panel unit.